Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. Uh, today I'm going to be teaching how to debadge vehicles for 5M. Uh, so you're going to need Blender, Codewalker, and there's a plugin called Psalms, which I will leave a uh, link in the description to. Uh, so you can download that, it's the only way you can really access it. Uh, access the uh, files for the cars. Um, so, you're going to want to open up your Codewalker folder. Um, make sure you get the newest version, you can find that in the, um, the Discord for Codewalker. So once that's open, you'll have your two files here. You're going to need the uh, the regular YFT and the high YFT. So you're going to right click that. You're going to export the XML. And for now, I'm just going to put it, put it in my dbatch car files. I'll put it here. That'll, that'll let you know when it's done. You know, export this XML in the same spot. That's done. So once you've exported the XMLs, you're going to open up blend, uh, Blender. And I guess I can't. Um, anyways, you're gonna open up your Solemns tool, hit General, import Codewalker. Then you're gonna go to your desktop, your debadge cars, needs debadge. Then you're gonna click that and import it. This might take a few seconds depending on the speed of your computer, um, but generally it doesn't take. Okay. So now it's in. Um, if you don't know how to use Blender, you're going to press down on your middle mouse button, like, like your scroll wheel, to rotate and zoom in, obviously scroll. Um, to remove this big, big box off of here, all you have to do is click Hide Collisions. Here you'll see the uh, model of the vehicle. Um, so we'll start here on the front. So to get rid of this uh, section, you're just going to click on the bumper and it'll highlight. And once, you, once it's highlighted, just click Tab your keyboard and you're gonna see a bunch of triangles basically uh, what I like to do is I like to click this little box here and it changes the way it uh, like kind of selects now the zoom function on here isn't great uh, it's never like really good so what I like to do is hit view navigation then walk navigation it's basically like you can no clip um, if you push down on left alt while you're moving around you can slow it down just so you can get a better uh, better grasp at it. I like to go at it on an angle and then when you're done just click that. So I like to start off by clicking on one thing just to get rid of all the orange and then while you're hovering your mouse over the, the area of which you want to get rid of just press L and it will highlight like basically the entirety of the thing and you're gonna hit delete and then delete your vertices. And then sometimes you have to go at it again with L again hover over this press L delete vertices and now you'll notice that there's some uh, extras left behind sometimes you're gonna have to make extra adjustments depending on how the logo is shaped I like to go at it from like an, uh, like a bird's eye perspective just highlight all of it do all uh, the bits and pieces and then hit delete and then one more time hoping it's the last time delete so now, go to the navigation, the walk navigation, because the fly is kind of quick. You're going to see that you've successfully got rid of that badge there. That badge is completely gone. Um, now, I've already debadged this car before, so it's not overly necessary for me to debadge this entire thing again. Um, but just, just for the sake of, um, oh, just for the sake of doing it, uh, I will show you guys little more of it so when you're stuck with the tab thing whenever you're done debadging make sure you uh, hit tab again so you can select and sometimes you'll select something and it'll just select the complete wrong thing so just don't worry about that try to get as and then just select a different part of the of the uh, of the vehicle until you can find the sweet spot for it to highlight and then just Hit L, hit L, as much as you can over it, and just delete, and then it's just, it's just that simple, guys. It's just extremely, extremely simple. Um, so now it's just a DGE. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, once once you're done debadging uh, all the spots, make sure you don't hesitate to check inside the vehicle. A lot of the times the logo will be on the dash here. Um, 
or you'll have like little logos here as well like underneath the body kits make sure you check for those because those like even sub models can be copyrighted and if you don't want that headache you might as well just get rid of all of it okay now when this is done you're going to click on the file right here and this is super important you got to make sure you clicked on this and it's highlighted and you're just going to hit export go back to your debadge cars folder and hit debadge complete and then you're just going to export this part takes usually a little bit longer for me i guess um okay so now uh what i like to do is i like to make a folder called viewer and then you hit edit mode that hit edit mode and then go to where your debadge cars are debadge complete and click and drag the file into here uh, this will convert it back from a XML to the regular YFT file that you need and if you want to preview you just double click again and now you'll see we're missing the logos that we Okay, so now once once you debadge a vehicle completely and strip it of its, uh, you know, the names that make it unique to what it is, um, the likeness is okay to have in your server. You just can't have um, like Dodge Charger, you know, you can't have their logos, uh, even their sub models. Like, I know technically that just says Hemi, but I like to remove that just cause. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. That's all. That's really it's really just that simple. Like. Um, to get rid of the logos um yeah so and then once you're done that you can just click and drag the file out and now you've got yourself your yft which you would just open this under your stream folder click and drag replace it and now once you import this into your server your 5m server in the back end um your car will no longer have uh logos on it um yeah so i appreciate you guys taking a moment to to check this out if you have any questions i'll leave my uh my discord um my discord in the in the uh, description um it's a community discord it won't be my personal but feel free to uh send a message in there if you need any extra assistance with this uh i'm always i'm always available so uh yeah again thanks uh thanks for stopping by guys have a good one